Hi, I'm G2 Patel from Box. Uh, Two-part question for you. One is, um, if you think about fully autonomous vehicles, um, which have passed through regulatory approvals, have passed through in-city driving and traffic conditions, how far do you think, from a time frame perspective, we are for that hap that becoming reality? And number two would be the second part of that question is, how far before, how long before you think it's either illegal or extremely prohibitively expensive for humans to drive on the road? Well, I, I mean, I think, I mean, I really would consider autonomous driving to be basically a solved problem. Um, Even in cities like Beijing and... Yeah, yeah. Actually, it is, uh, the, there's really only one um, area where it's like a little dodgy, and that's basically if you're at roughly the 30, 30 to 40 miles an hour um, in, uh, in urban environments, which is, that's difficult to achieve in Beijing. Um, it's like heavy traffic. Uh, in, 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 in dense traffic situations, autonomy is really easy because um, you can just maintain a set distance from various cars. It's, it's actually quite, quite easy. Um, you're un very unlikely to, dr to run anyone over. You're just not moving fast enough and you can brake in time. Um, on highways, particularly highways that, are, um, that, that have barriers so that you, you don't have pedestrians, that's also relatively easy. And uh, like a Model S and Model X at this point uh, can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person yes. right now. This question. Yeah. Wow. My, my, um, my point is when does it get to be where you don't need to be sitting behind a vehicle and it actually, the, the way that society starts expecting this is I can have my 75-year-old mother who doesn't speak any English or doesn't drive um, be able to be transported from point A to point B by just sitting in a car by herself and being taken. I know it's technically possible, but how far do you think the regulatory approvals are for that happening? I think we're basically um, less than two years away from complete autonomy. Wow. wow. Complete. Wow. Safer than a human. Um, however, regulators will take, um, I think, at least another year, at least another year, and because it's going to depend on which, what part of the world you're in, um, because they will want to see billions of miles of data to show that it is statistically true that there is a substantial improvement in safety if something's autonomous versus not autonomous. I don't think that regulators will accept something that's close to, that's, that's, that's sort of approximately as good as a person. I think they'll have to be at least twice as good as a person, maybe five or 10 times um, you know, better in terms of uh, safety. Um, and, and, and that will have to, be, have to be a statistically relevant data set. So like billions of miles over widely differing uh, roads and, and situations. Um, so, yeah, you know, that, so I think it's like probably three years before it's re from a regulatory standpoint, but less than two before it is uh, technically possible. And do you think there's a day when it's illegal to drive for humans or, um, you know? Well, I mean, we live in a democracy, so it's presumably that would be a function of the population deciding. Um, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not in favor of banning people from driving cars. Um, like, I'm in favor of freedom um, and, and not restricting what people do. Um, yeah. But maybe the requirements for a license will get more stringent. I think that seems like maybe a good move. You know, so you have to demonstrate a higher level of skill to drive in order to be allowed to manually drive.